How's it going guys? Real Rabbin here back at it again with another video. We're going to Pocono where last race we had a very good race. Uh, and uh, well, last race at Pocono. And then the last race last uh, at New Hampshire, which usually goes terribly. If you didn't see it, go check it out. Because I believe that was one of the best races of the season. Just the one-on-one -on -one battle that we had with Ryan Newman. It was a really, really good battle that lasted pretty much the entire first stint. So that was really good. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're still, I think we're sitting at, what is it, 15 wins? So let's just check real quick. 19 starts and 15 wins. Yeah, so 15 wins. The standings, I haven't checked in a while because, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a wrap. <laughs> like, we were just, we're downright dominating. But, um, I want to get, get to 27. So, uh, let's go to Pocono, let's qualify, and let's see what we can do. I just love this track and how the car can just kind of, like, turn itself. It is... Fantastic. I wonder if that's going to be pole on lap one. Uh, could be. I mean, it was a fantastic lap. And no. Actually, 20 seconds. All right. All right got some work to do. Uh, I tried getting on the throttle way too quick. But uh, it's going to be a better lap because we carried so much more speed getting into turn one. So if we just hit two and three, it should be good. Oh yeah, that's a good lap. Uh, I don't did I don't think we got pole uh, at Pocono in the first race, so that's a good lap. Top of the charts, man. You got yeah, we got it. All right, we got it. Okay, so uh, that was definitely good. Let's see how much we won it by uh, about a tenth and a half. So pretty good. All right, uh, let's go to the race. Here's the call by MRN. Welcome to Pocono Raceway, located in the heart of the beautiful Pocono Mountains for today's Pennsylvania 500 on MRN. This track produces some of the fastest racing of the year, but it also presents some special challenges to the drivers. Well, this is one of NASCAR's toughest tracks, especially for the crews who set up these race cars. Nothing is the same in any aspect of this racetrack. Three totally different corners, three straightaways of different lengths. It's enough to drive a crew chief crazy. The 151 car leads in points so far this season. Well, the NASCAR Winston Cup trophy is what it's all about. But you can't get it if you don't consistently gain points. These guys know that, and they're working hard to try and increase their lead this week. Tony Stewart has been starting at the front all season. Man, is it paying off for those guys. Seems like each and every week that car is starting in the top ten. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing team. That it was, with three wins and ten top ten finishes, he showed that he's one of the rising stars in NASCAR. You know the deal. Let's get off to a good start and let's try to dominate this race for win number 16 on the season. Green flag is out. Let's see if you could get to Stuart block him. Nope, he's going to get a run. So block Newman. No. Block Labonte. No. Okay. Never mind then. We're going to be in fourth for the first lap of this race. Let's see if you get back to the lead real quick. Oh, didn't realize he was there. That was almost bad. I wanted to go three wide and try to take the lead there, but that's not going to work. Let's wait and see if we can maybe go three wide here. Whoa! I can't drive it in that deep, though. 
They could drive it in much deeper than I can, but we're going to get a good run coming out of the corner. If Stuart doesn't block, which he does, and he does it successfully. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of racing here. It's like deja vu, going on the outside of Ryan Newman again, second race in a row. This time, I feel like we're going to be able to get the pass done pretty easily. Let's just kind of wait here. Never mind, it's going to be harder than I thought. <sighs> All right, here we go again. <laughs> Round two, Ryan Newman. We did this last race. We're going to do it again this race. You want tango? Let's tango. Getting in your way. Got one outside. I'd like to see him stay back there. Still there. Make it easy. The 12 car is still there. Stay focused. You get the lead back. Clear on both sides. Number 12 is looking hot. There we go. Hard earned. Finally, after two races, we're able to pass Ryan Newman. Had to rub him a little bit. Got to, got to get aggressive because he wants to block like that, but we got the pass done. All right, let's pull away now and win this race. Give credit to Newman where, where it's due. I mean, it's amazing how much he can hold us up. And then once we get by him after like two laps, how much we can pull away. Like we've already pulled away to a two second gap. Like that, he holds us up and you know, he does a great job of doing it. But once we get by him, it's clear the speed difference. I mean, we are just flat out flying. I love how Pocono, the lap cars always come out right in front of us. So it just adds another little dimension to the race. Cause I could make a mistake here since there are new tires and I'm on old tires and I'm still somewhat faster than them so I'm trying to pass them but uh, we're gonna go one more lap and then pit actually you know what I don't want to deal with these lap cars we're pitting this time pitting this time ooh, uh, 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 ooh that was close <laughs> that was very close okay so let's take four tires no uh, no damage and, and stuff like that that way I could just get out of the lap cars that's the only reason why I decided to pit there is because I just don't want to be involved with the, the fucking you know slow whatever cars uh, pit crew, you've made two bad pit stops in a row in the last two races. Please give us a good pit stop. There we go, 15 seconds. That's what I like to see. Thank you very much. Should have clear track, and we do. So now let's put forth some of our best lap times of the race and we should be able to win the race. Oh my holy shit, that was close. Wow, that was really, really close. Oh, caution. Well, that throws a little wrench into things. Uh, I'm on the lead lap, so that's not gonna be a problem for us. But uh, I'm gonna save the tires here, not go, you know, not go full throttle around this place. So, uh, interesting, interesting. Everyone behind us is on the lead lap as well. You see where the leader is on the track map. So there's a good amount of cars on the lead lap. Pretty much a, a lot of cars, actually. Maybe all of them. Um, we're not gonna pit. We're gonna stay out. The only thing is, we're gonna have a little bit older tires, but I don't think it's that much of a... that big of a deal. We still should be fine. I'm gonna cruise around here. And we still should be all good, so... Let's see how it all plays out. We're going to be in the lead, I know that. But it's just going to be, you know, uh, what's the, you know, the tire difference? We're still really fast, like, so I don't think the tires are going to make that much of a difference, but we'll see. Oh, it was, <laughs> it was the 45 car. I think Jeff Green's in that car now, or some of the David Green, Jeff Green, one of those two, but we almost ran into him, and then someone else actually did, so. All right, we are not going to pit. And we should be in the lead, and we're not actually. Are we? No, we're not. There are actually two cars that stayed out. These two. So uh, that's an interesting little move. Newman, I see you. You are not passing me, Newman. Hell, nah, fam. Nah, 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 nah. 
Nah, the 12th car is not passing well. I got him. All right, there we go. Let's make quick work of the 27 car, which is Chase Montgomery and Elliot Sadler. And let's make quick work of them, and then we will move on. But I'm not. I'm going to be smart here. Let's not take it three wide. Let's be a little bit smart here. I'm going to wait. Now I can take it three wide. And there we go. Hold that line. Easy. Smart moves right there. Not to go three wide in the tunnel turn. Just wait till turn three. And we're back in the lead. Four laps to go, I think it is. And let's go ahead and win the race. Easy. There we go. All right. So Newman, it looks like, you know what, I'm actually very surprised with Newman's pace the last couple of races because he's been our, our main competitor, but um, does not matter, we still win, he won at New Hampshire, we win at Pocono, but uh, yeah, just a good race, we had a little bit of a twist there with the caution, that could have messed things up, but um, it was all good, I think we had a caution in the first Pocono race as well that made us like go from 8th to 1st in like 3 laps or whatever it was, so... Pocono races have been interesting this year, and uh, we win. Let's go to victory lane. Here we go. And uh, can I get a nice-looking trophy girl this time? Like, no. I got the redhead again, looking like Mary Jane from uh, Spider-Man. So enthusiastic, clapping the hands. Oh, uh, look, look at the picker got behind. Oh, yeah, but clap over her. Yeah, 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 male domination. All right, let's move on. And, uh, yeah, I don't even care about the money anymore. <laughs> when you get so rich to a point, you don't even care anymore. That's basically what this is like. Uh, next race is going to be, after the load screen, is going to show us. Is it, I think Bristol is not the next Yeah, Indianapolis. I think it's Indianapolis, then Bristol. I think that's how it goes, but I'm, I don't remember. Or Indianapolis, Watkins Glen, Bristol, one of the, uh, whatever. But um, Indianapolis, the Brickyard 400, really wanted to win that race last year. Did win it. Let's see if we go ahead and win it again this year as well. Guys, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. And peace out.